Hi guys and welcome back to the Tech Cave. I thought I'd make a video just sharing with you some of the uh, computer game consoles I'd sold recently. Um, most of these have been on about a month or maybe a bit more, um, but I was being, well I was sticking to my guns on price. Some of them I wasn't that, <laughs> how do I put this? I wasn't too keen on getting rid of them. I would have quite happily kept them. So I had a bit of a word with myself couple of weeks ago and said look Nick these things need to go so I started I put best offer on some that didn't have best offer on already and I started actually considering some of the offers that were coming in um, the other thing I said to myself was that all these consoles came as part of that um, mega haul of computer gaming stuff and as most of you will know I am I was way into profit on the whole deal from that one uh atari cartridge sale anyway so all of this stuff owed me nothing i was in profit on the whole deal so i i sort of had a conversation with myself and said i need to start getting rid of it really it was time to let it go I'm just going to move the mic a bit nearer i don't know if that's picking me up okay so yeah and i've sold the majority of them um i've got a couple left i've still got uh, a boxed Mega Drive, which I have some issues with. Uh, I need to sort out. I've got that Super Nintendo there, and I think one more Atari 2600. Apart from that, it's all gone. So I thought I'd make a quick video and show you what I have sold and let you know what I got for them. So let me screen share and we'll go in and take a look. Okay, so you should be seeing this. This is, I think, the last one to go out of the ones I'm going to show you. Um, this is original classic Game Boy. Um, I think this was the first pack that came out, at least here in the UK. I had this very version with that very box. Um, lovely, lovely thing in pretty good condition. The actual console, if I go into the pictures, the actual console itself, um, I don't know if there's one showing it, had some sun fading. Yeah, you can't see it too well there. And some scratching and stuff. So it wasn't in the best condition. Inside there was okay, touch grubby, but no damage to the contacts. Um, that's just a serial number and detail. But what sold this was it was complete. It had all of its extras to the game there, cable, headphones. There was a split on the back of the box, as you can see, which obviously I've declared and taken a close up of. But the box, I don't know, apart from that rip, it was pretty good. Um, it's a really nice display piece, as you can see from the front. From the front, it was really good condition. Uh, had its manuals. It's poly insert and the lid, which often goes missing with these. So, yeah, it was good. Um, I priced it at 100 and that's what I got. I didn't, I don't think I ever added offers on this. Um, not that I remember. So, yeah, I got the 100. That includes free shipping. Um, but, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Yeah, more than happy. So, that was the Game Boy. Um, in that big hall, there was very little handheld stuff um there was this console and i think a couple of game boy colors just loose very few games so most of that haul was was home consoles um such as this one uh this is the classic n64 and it's the golden eye edition um as with a lot of the nintendo special editions it's just a, a slip case so if we go into the pictures it's just a standard there you go, the standard regular N64 box underneath. Uh, all they did to make it the Golden Eye Edition was bundle the game and put that cardboard sleeve around it effectively. So I didn't really have much more than just a Nintendo. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I didn't have the inserts with this either. It was just as you see that inside the box. So I don't know what happened to the inserts, but I certainly didn't have them. Pretty good condition this was actually the nintendo that i repaired uh the little reset button you can see it's a little bit damaged around the edge because it was stuck in and the previous owner had tried to prize it out um 
I made a video which I will share. I'll share a link um, at the end of this video to to the video I made about how to open up an, an N64 and sort out a stuck reset button. But yeah, it was okay. Nothing amazing. Um, for what it was, I went for the top end, which was 100. Um, and then when I added offers to it, I had an offer in at 80. I counted at 90 and it went. And I was happy with that. Um, yeah. Pleased to see it gone. So that's the Nintendo 64. Oh, this is an Atari 2600, um, not the Woody. There's there's two main versions of these. You've got the Woody, which has the kind of wood grain effect. It's it's a larger console than this. This is the later reissued one. Um, there are some names for it, which which slipped my mind right now. Um, yeah, not a great deal of value in these. They're, they're really quite common. Um, this one I bundled with one controller, uh, power lead, RF lead. And then 21 games. A couple of these games I had tried selling individually and they were just getting really, well, they were really sticky and weren't going. So I bundled them in with a load of ones that really weren't worth listing on their own. You've got boxing and Raiders of the Lost Ark, jungle hunt, skate, skateboarding. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. And I aimed for £100 for this, which was over the odds to be perfectly honest um but i put offers on knowing that i would accept offers on this from, from when i started it i thought i'll aim high with offers and see what comes in so it was on at the 99.99 you can see there had an offer from a, a chap in northern ireland at 50. um i declined that and then we had a conversation and we were chatting about it and he said i'm really keen but the best i can offer you is 60. Um, you know, I understand if that's not enough, blah, blah, blah. We had a chat about it and I said, you know what? I'll take it because I need it gone. And yeah, I was happy with that in the end. Um, that did include free shipping. Um, so I ended up with about 50 quid. But yeah, these, as I said at the beginning of the video, this stuff owes me nothing now. And I had to get in that mindset of I've listed it to sell. I need to start accepting offers and getting this stuff moving so i have another atari exactly the same console uh, still listed with a bundle of boxed games again games that weren't that great and that i was happy to bundle up so i've still got the other one uh then we move on to uh sega master system plus this was lovely really really good and i didn't budge on this one uh i had it listed if we just come back again at the one four nine ninety nine, I'm, I can't remember the reasoning, but on this one I had shipping on top of it. <laughs> Don't ask me why I did this one differently. Um, and yeah, I got that, which I was really happy with. As you can see there, it's it's boxed, and the inside was fantastic. Let me find the picture. There you go. Uh, it had the polystyrene lid as well. Usually with these, if you find them, that lid is gone uh, and the poly tray is usually battered up and missing bits. This was pretty much as new. It was really, really good. Uh, it had all of its poly bags. In the recent chat I did with Darren, we were talking about this is what collectors want. Collectors will see that picture and they will want that. It's got its original bags. Everything is as it was from the factory there. Apart from... Um, that control i'm not controller i didn't actually rotate that picture that's the wrong way around that's sideways anyway that's not the orig original sega um adapter power adapter this is actually from a sinclair spectrum but that's what it had when i got hold of it and that's what i sold it with so obviously i declared that in the listing uh the box had some damage so i've taken a close-up of that but yeah, pleased to see this go. I bundled some games with it. So you've got Sonic, Auto Beast, uh, World Soccer, Super Tennis and Black Belt, which all, you know, would have commanded a pound or two, you know, if I tried to sell them on because they're common games. They're not that sought after. Uh, and as a bundle with a console, it's just going to make it that little bit more desirable was the idea. So, yeah, that's what I did. And it has gone. 
Um, it actually went on the Argos click and collect um, thing. And the woman said, I'm away till the 27th of November. So there's no rush in shipping it out. But as we know with eBay, you have to ship it within your allocated dispatch time. And, you know, so I, I, I messaged her and I said, what I've done is I've shipped it out. So eBay doesn't have an issue with me not sending it out on time. And um, I put a message on the box to the Argos staff to explain that the woman cannot pick it up until the 27th of November. So please hold on to it because what happens with the Argos click and collect thing is um, if the customer doesn't come, I don't know how long they've got that, that the Argos store will hold it. But if they don't, if the customer doesn't pick it up within a certain time, like I say, I don't know how long that is it will get returned to you. So I put a big sticker on the front of the box saying she's not coming until November 27th. So hopefully they'll just hold on to it until she'll come pick it up. But yeah, very pleased with that one. Um, next we have the Turtles NES. Again, exactly like the N64 I showed you. This is just uh, bog standard NES uh, entertainment system. There you go, the control tech, control deck box with a sleeve on it so essentially what i'm selling is is this a standard nes which are, are really quite common to be honest it was in good condition again with poly bags and instructions etc but essentially what i'm selling or the the big part of this is the sleeve and my sleeve was just awful it had been the box was fine the inner box hadn't got damp this had been damp at some point and it had gone all kind of it was just gross and the back of it at all the the sort of uh shiny film over it had peeled off and it had all been stuck back down it was not good there you go the other end was just as bad so effectively i was selling a standard control deck with a pretty manky turtles cover on it <laughs> um yeah, and I had it at, up at 250. That's the Turtles game that was bundled in. I had it up at 250, had loads of offers on it, and was just batting them away. I really didn't want to let it go. And then, as I said, I, I kind of decided, right, I'm going to start accepting offers now. Um, had a conversation with somebody who offered me um, 210, and I went for it in the end. I actually did have an earlier offer of 220 from somebody but they gave me a strange feeling they were being really funny about it and asking strange questions and being a bit off so I declined that guy and then somebody else approached me and were I don't know I just got a much better feeling from them so I went for it at 210 and it has gone which is fantastic uh, last one I'm going to share with you today is another NES. Uh, this is just basically the control deck, as we just saw. Um, the only extras we've got there are this, this funny thing on the side, that black funny shaped thing. It's just a pair of grips. You slide them over the ends of the controller uh, just to aid it, aid being able to hold it comfortably in your hand. Um, yeah, I aimed pretty high on this, to be honest. Uh, console was in really good condition. It didn't have any real sun fading which they can they can lose their color a bit same with the super nintendos actually super nintendos are worse they go a really horrible yellow color um but yeah i aimed pretty high and got it which i was pleased about controllers were in lovely condition yeah so that's that one um i went for 78.99 that's with free shipping so you've got to take shipping off that and then of course fees um, but for a standard Nintendo NES control deck, I was really pleased with that. So that's everything. So let me come out of screen share. Hold on, bear with. Okay. So there you go. That's a few of the consoles I've been getting rid of recently. As I said, I've still got the Super Nintendo uh, and I do have the Aladdin boxed Mega Drive pack that I've got some issues with that I'm going to try and sort out. I'm actually going to visit Tom this week, uh, Tom the English pick, Picker. I'm taking it with me so we can both take a look at it and try and work out if it's the leads, if it's the console, what's going on, because I'm having a trouble 
getting a signal out of it. So yeah, hopefully we can sort that out because that's a really nice console. Um, so there you go. Anyway, I will leave you there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoy it, please give, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought of those sales. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.